What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Jamel Munger back again, man. Got some more content for y'all. Monte Carlo today. We're going to try to get this kill mat in. You already seen by the title. Um, I ain't never done this before. I don't think it's too hard. All you're doing is just laying like little pieces of metal sheet or whatever insulation, whatever sound deadening, whatever it is. I think that's all it is. The only thing is, I'm going to be up front with y'all. I do not have that little roller tool. Um, I probably could ask around, but I don't even care to even ask around. I'm just going to do the best I can with the tools I got. Um, the small town that I live in, they don't really got a lot of stuff. I could have went up there and ordered it last night or something at O'Reilly's or something like that. And it could have came today, but I won't think it. I thought it was going to rain today. It's Saturday. Uh, it is actually supposed to rain later, but I'm going to try to do what I can now. Um, Got to keep progress going, man. Look how windy it is, though. So I probably won't be doing too much talking um, this video due to the wind, but we're going to go ahead and get right into it, man. Y'all, let's, let's rock. All right, guys, got the car unwrapped. Um, like I said, the whole delay in the kill mat was just pitting. Um, it has to be something else better. I think this is good as far as, like, sealing up holes and cleaning up your wheels and you know keeping them all straight or whatever i think it's something probably that's better because this joint took like a couple like days to dry for real and it's still like kind of like sticky it's dry but it's like sticky so it's definitely a paste form um i imagine it was it's probably something better out there um but it worked for me um as you can see all that debris and stuff i gotta go hit it with the shop vac get that clean up i want to make sure everything is clean before we start laying the kill mat and i think i'm gonna start on this side so y'all hang right tight i really want to go ahead and get this thing painted now yeah i'm about to hit up all this stuff right here touch it up with the vacuum i'm gonna see if i can find a way to zip tie all of these wires like up to the steering column or something just to get out of my way because when i get rolling i just want to go ahead and knock it on out all right wires all kind of out the way a little bit i'm not starting on that side um i'm gonna start on this side right here i'm gonna try to go all the way up to that delete plate probably and see if I can tuck some stuff back there as much as possible. Um, I think I want to leave this exposed. I don't know. I just like how it looks. Um, I might end up covering the whole diagonal thing. Who knows? <sighs> yeah. You're about to get to it, man. I hope y'all enjoy this time lapse. I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm going to just knock it on out the best way I know how. Oh, one last thing before I start. This is the kill mat. I think it's like uh, 30 square feet. I don't know. I can't even remember. It's, I got it off eBay. It's like $88 or $87 or something like that. I'm going to try to use all this. If I need more, I'll go order some more. But I don't think I'll need no more. The tools. I got some gloves. Protect your hands, fellas. Like I said in the last video, ladies love clean hands. Got this little box cutter. Hopefully, it'll do the trick. And then I got some like heavy-duty scissors or whatever so I can get around corners or whatever. This is all the kill mat is for people who never really ordered any or used like sheet metal, but with like adhesive um, on the back to just kind of like, I guess, help you with keeping out sound of your motor or, you know, this car is just really like rust for real. So it'll help out with that as well. But let's get into it.
guys pretty much got the passenger side done um i think it's pretty good man i i, I mean i wish i would have had that roller tool but i just be using that socket uh and just basically ironing out some of the places i tried to keep the little the water ways or whatever i did end up covering it up but i'm gonna just go fish it and cut it out um and this, this is like the hardest part for me to be honest with you uh just this little like corner because like the, the metal don't want to really like sit in there like you probably have to cut it in like like pie shaped pieces or something to get it in there completely flat but uh yeah man I, it's not perfect at all man i was taking like like little pieces like this i had to like put patches in there and when i was uh using this the back of the screwdriver to like keep my water my water channels or whatever i was ripping it a little bit but it's all good I was taking a lot of the other like pieces that I cut off and just patching them right here. Like the next piece I'll probably put right there. I think I'm gonna end up having to use like a whole sheet for this little corner right here. I don't really want to do that, but to make it look complete and actually complete it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And even up here, I might put a piece right there. Um, this is from, we destroyed the uh, heater box to get that uh, the joint out. Um, but yeah, I got all the way up there. Like I said, the cut's not perfect at all. It's like a little clip right here that I couldn't get around. Um, but I try to do my best, man. That's all you can do. Just try to do your best, dog. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of satisfied with it. Um, it was a lot easier than I thought it was. It's not, it's like, it, bro, it's literally just like cutting out anything else and just placing it and it stick for good or whatever. And it, it's not even like super adhesive. Like you could pull it up if you mess up or something. But like not probably not right now, but like when you land it down, when you first lay it down, you probably could uh, pull it up. But yeah, it's easy work, man. I'm gonna try to go all the way back to probably about right there. Um, I may end up ordering another box for the trunk, but right now I got all my uh, interior trim pieces, the, the maroon color. All of that stuff is in the back. I don't know if you can see it. It's in the trunk and stuff, but yeah. So I probably won't be able to get to the trunk today. I mean, if I do get the time and it don't start raining on me here shortly. I might try to tackle the trunk. Who knows? But right now, what's really agitating me is this corner right here. So I'm going to probably just go ahead and sacrifice a full piece and then just keep going from there. All right, YouTube. Uh, got a little carried away with the kill map, man. I just started working. Um, it's about to rain, man. I don't know if y'all can see it overcast. I just checked the weather app and it's definitely about to start raining. Uh, so I'm not even gonna rush it. I just pick up on it again tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got. Like I said, I'm gonna be real with y'all. My cuts aren't precise. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just piecing stuff in between these spots like this. You know what I'm saying? And just with the curves and stuff, you're not really gonna unless you really take your time and map out how you're supposed to cut it or whatever. Uh, you're really not gonna be able to get it like super smooth looking. At least I don't think so. But um. To each his own. I'm happy with what we got going on here. Uh, I'll probably lay this, probably cover this up right here. This piece right here. Uh, and then I'm going to try to call it a day because I got to put this car back under the tent before it starts raining. It's actually raining now. So I'm going to lay this piece down and uh, I'll turn y'all back on when we get more progress. Oh, y'all. I was able to get it back under the tent, man. It was raining. Still raining. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but. Man, in the midst of all that, I ended up picking up that rake right there and cleaning up all the leaves around here. Like, this really mean anything. You can see it's like a clear line right there. I done raked all the way around my joint. Look at the difference. They just be a little stuff. I probably just be doing stuff. But, yeah, it's back under the tent, man. The most important part for me is my T-top area. Um, I'm going to get a full. I think I'm going to get a full the joint that can cover up the whole car all in one piece. Because right here, <clears throat> it'd be like... Um, It'd be like dripping right there. 
I mean, the tarp is doing what it's supposed to do, but still, I don't want no water on my car, man. At this point, I literally can't afford for water to get in there because the carpet and kill mat, that joint, I mean, it ain't expensive, expensive, but it's, you can feel it. Especially when you're just doing this on some, like, some hobby type stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, probably just unwrap it enough to get into the side of the door and keep this up, keep the tarp on the hood, because like I said, it's still ran. I don't want no water on any part of the car for real, for real, if I can help it. <clears throat> but yeah, what I did, that old Tahoe right there got it done. I just hooked it up because the car was right there. I hooked it up, pulled it as close as I could. And then, you know, I couldn't get the Tahoe under here uh, without it damaging the tent. So I ended up pulling the Tahoe beside it and just kept yanking it, yanking it. And then eventually I went back here and messed up the yard. Man, my mom probably going to kill me. But hey, mom, if you see this, I'm sorry. You know, I got to take care of the Monte Carlo, man. The yard, the yard will grow back. Monte Carlo, the, that rust is hard to get rid of. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and undo this, man. Hey, we only got a little bit left. Let's get it. Uh, this is what it's come to, man. I don't want no water in here, bro. So I'm gonna just crawl up under here. Give y'all a little quick update. I ended up laying this piece down. I just gotta, you know, make sure it's all the way down. Uh, yeah. This part here, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the extra mile, try to get all the way around all of this stuff right here. At least get a good piece right here. Um, and then watch out for that that cable there. And same deal. I'm gonna try to go all the way up to that accelerated pedal. <clears throat> Coming out good, man. I got probably like a good shoot. I don't know. Probably like ten sheets left. No, that's probably more than ten sheets. Good 15, 20 sheets left. So I might be able to do the trunk. And don't forget, I still got to do a little bit of this right here. <clears throat> I don't know how many sheets that'll take. I estimate probably like one two three maybe and then do that probably like three full times i don't know but here probably one two three four four and a half right here probably but yeah i'm satisfied man it's, it's looking good man i made sure i got that hole right there for the seat belts i did forget this one i'm gonna just have to find it and i also gotta find this one too but i made sure i got this one too and then all the seat bracket holes or whatever it's easy, man. I think so. Shoot. If you're good with a, a box cutter. But yeah, let's get it. All right, I'm sorry for the low lighting, man. I'm under a tent and a tarp. Oh. But yeah, uh, where my stuff at? Dang. Uh, I highly recommend using gloves. Because this joint is low-key metal, so it couldn't even cut you. I mean, if you like pretty hands. I like having clean hands, man. So what I've been doing is just kind of like fitting it first, kind of pressing it down a little bit and then cutting it as needed pretty much. And that's been working for me. Uh, like in this instance, I got this seat bracket right here, so I'll just fold it all the way down. I know I'll have to cut it up in here somewhere. So I just kind of like <clears throat> cut it straight and then you can fold that part down like that. Easy stuff, man. And it fit right there. That's cool with me. Uh, I'm gonna make this slit a little bit. Right, so I can get as much coverage as possible. Yeah, and then I will keep this part and put it somewhere else. Easy stuff, man. Make sure you get all the little white paper off. You be wondering why your stuff not sticking in because it's still got this protective paper on it or whatever. And I think I've been having enough because I've been, uh, I haven't been overlapping a lot. So I, I feel like that's a good tactic too. Don't overlap if you don't have to. In this case right here, I'm gonna overlap because this is that floor pan patch right here. Let me get a good seal right there. Yes, sir. Let me try. Should have checked to see if there's any. No holes. 
that's it. It's a kill map for you. I take my little socket, wherever that may be. See, little pieces like this, I'm just gonna throw this right here. Ain't no sense in wasting it. <clears throat> I gotta find my socket. Uh, I think I put it back in my toolbox. Yeah, the socket just help you get it completely flushed down and stuff. Careful with these little bolts right here, like I said. Just trying to get a good clean tuck, man. That shit on everything. Kill Matt. I think it's a good investment, man. <laughs> for real, you keep it, keep it. Make your car feel solid, not just like rust on wheels for real. Should be rust on wheels anyway, but you know, you can't get all the pieces of rust out. There's some, probably some rust spots you don't even know you got on your car. Uh, let me go get that socket. I don't even know what size socket this is, but it's pretty big, bro. I've just been using it, rolling it. Trying to get everything super flat, man. piece right here I didn't quite get it all the way and then I'm gonna add a piece right here and a few pieces up in here and that'll be it for the main part of the floor and then I'm gonna try to throw a couple pieces the remaining pieces will go on this back part right here like I said I may I may end up ordering another pack for the trunk and then maybe some for the doors um, but for me I mean I just wanted to make sure that this floor was good and I, to my standard I think it is good. Once I fill this part in and it'll be complete, I'll be happy then. But I'll turn y'all back on once all of it is completely covered and I feel somewhat satisfied. All right, guys, I'm officially done with the kill mat, man. I'm out here in the rain with it, bro. Trying to get y'all this good content, man. And also, I got to keep making progress on the car, man. Time is not on my side. I will not be around the car that much longer so i gotta make the best of every day rain sleet, the snow man that's the motto um gotta get it done but i'm gonna flip the camera around right quick so i can let y'all see what i did and we can talk more about it let's get it all right this is the coverage you can see how far i went i went up all the way to that little insulation or whatever it is over there i went all the way up to the delete plate at least i tried to over there that corner was a little rough it's like a little pin or something over there that i had to cut around uh i tried my best to get all up under here pretty good um shifter cable yep yep like i said this is good enough for me man i ain't too picky i gotta cut that other uh drain plug out you can see it a little bit a little outline i just gotta cut it out um yeah this is that one box man like little places like this i probably could have did a little bit better i ain't gonna lie but toward the the back, I really didn't care too much about this part. Um, so I was just laying the pieces like, look at this. I overlap pieces and everything. Like, I wasn't really even trying to cut too much back there. Um, but that box, it did all this. Like, I got one piece left. Like, if I wanted to, like, go back and probably, like, hit some other spots up. Like, you know, that little spot, I probably can go cut a little piece of that off. Or, like, just little spots like this. If I wanted to take this door panel off, stuff like this. Uh, this probably won't take, I probably could put like a piece right here and then put another piece on that other wheel wheel. Um, and that'll probably be like constitute one piece and it wouldn't even go all the way up to the top. It probably stop like right here and then right, like right there. But I probably would do that to be honest with that last piece. That little part right there is, it's all right, man. Or I could like cut that piece off that and then just shove it in there. Cause that's all I did with like this little piece. This was like a 
extra piece off something that I cut around the curve or something. I just tucked it in there. Like I said, I ain't trying to be perfect, man. I just want to take the right steps, man, and try to take care of this floor as good as I can, man. Um, next thing is pretty much the carpet. Um, after the carpet, I'm going to start um, probably taking these panels out and swapping them out for the burgundy ones, like, I mean, the maroon ones like that. Um, I think that'll be the next step. The next big ticket item uh, for the car is the wire harness. I'm going with a quick wire, uh, 22 circuit wire harness. And uh, I don't know. Y'all going to have to hype me up in the comments or something and give me the motivation to say that I can wire this car up myself. I know I can, but it's like I really got a lot of like a lot of stuff going on and I don't have too much time to be guessing wires and like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I need I really want to take it to an electrician. And just have them at least like stuff like this. I want all this to work. I want my my lights, my headlights to work, all that stuff. I got the dash. Um, I don't want to tell y'all too much, but I got some big plans for that. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, the next uh, drivetrain wise, I got to get this shifter hooked up. Um, right now, that cable is just sitting like hanging on the bottom of the car. Um I got to get the shifter hooked up to the transmission and uh, the drive shaft. I have to find a drive shaft and get that cut, measured, cut, and installed so I can move this car around. Once I get that, like I, sh I should be able to put the car in reverse. This is a 4L60E. And if you know, the 4L60E has a computerized, like it's, it's basically like the same transmission they use for the, like the LS swaps or whatever. This car... It's a 350 Vortec, but it doesn't... I didn't take the computer with the motor or whatever. I, I didn't know. I don't even think that car had a computer. But anyway, it's carbureted anyway, so it's not fuel injected. But that transmission has a computer that goes with it. And that's how you typically would, like, automatically shift it. But I'm going to, like, rig up a way to shift the car for right now. Um, but I, that'll be way down the line, I think. Um, the goal is while I'm home to get the drive shaft in there and then just at least be able to put the car in gear, whether that be reverse neutral drive, I don't care. But I'm tired of having to pull and push this car with that Tahoe, as you've seen earlier in the video. Um, but yeah, definitely this right here is pissing me off a lot, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is like really like a fire hazard for real. Um, luckily, I don't have my car hooked up or anything. I got a lot of the wires and stuff disconnected, but that shit pisses me off. Sorry to, for my language or whatever, but. It's really annoying. Uh, <clears throat> well, yeah. That's the next on the, the list, for real, for real. Remember, I said this. Drivetrain-wise, I got to get my brakes done. I'm going to put new brakes. Um, not the disc brake conversion. Not just yet. I'm going to get new drums, uh, new pads for the front, and hook up my brake lines. The only thing I got to do is hook them up to the brake booster or master cylinder, whatever it is. Brakes, drive, uh, the drive shaft, and then hook the, the shifter up to the uh, transmission. After that, the car should go down the road. I got my seats and stuff already. I already seen them mocked up and all that stuff. Um, I got to return the carpet because I don't like the color. I wanted to get a little bit closer to that maroon color. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Uh, power stand pump. Uh, well, power stand lines, I think. I don't know if it's the pump or the lines, but I want to be able to, you know, twist my wheel without having to pull a muscle or something. But, um... Yeah, it's starting to rain a little bit heavy out here. I just wanted to show y'all all the work that I did, man. Ain't nothing like doing it yourself. This was a good experience. I've never done this before. Uh, anybody could do it. You ain't doing nothing but cutting with a box cutter and placing it stuff. Like, I didn't overlap any. I don't think I did any overlapping. I was just filling in the spaces for real. But, yeah, y'all get in the comment section, man. Any feedback, good, bad, ugly, I don't care, man. We working, and I'll take it all in stride, man. Uh, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Do me a favor. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, man. We on the road. This this journey ain't gonna stop, man. I gotta finish this car. Um, so y'all keep rocking with me. Follow me on my Instagram right here on the screen. Uh, I post a lot of the stuff that I don't post on YouTube. I post it on my Instagram. So if you wanna see like some, I guess behind the scenes stuff, follow that Instagram right here on the screen. And uh, that's all I got, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. We out.